we are 10 minutes away from the 2019 spring opener. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Like I said, we're only 10 minutes away from one of the greatest moments that we wait for all year. It's the spring opener. Nick and I are way up north in northern Wisconsin, and we are out in the middle of nowhere, and we are ready to hit a pristine walleye lake. We've got the boat behind me here. We're gonna be out in the John boat tonight. You guys probably think that we are absolutely insane. Why are we not in bed getting ready for the morning? That's not how we roll. We like to do things a little bit differently. We are going to get out right at midnight. We're gonna go ahead, unload the boat, grab all of our stuff, head down to the lake, and we are ready to get on top of the walleyes as soon as midnight strikes. So let's do this. You know guys, it turns out, nobody actually does this. No one comes out here in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night, at midnight actually, just to fish. I mean, we're literally out in the middle of Timbuktu and we're gonna go catch walleyes. I feel like no one realizes the grind. Coming out here, out in the middle of the wilderness in northern Wisconsin, where there's Ah, potential danger I would say and just absolutely grinding finding pristine lakes like this with walleyes in it oh yeah nice and calm water is looking beautiful right now the wind is actually kind of in our favor tonight the other side of the lake is probably gonna have a little bit of chop going over it that's exactly what we're gonna look for so we're gonna go ahead grab the rest of the stuff guys I'm stoked this is like the best feeling ever All right, guys, we are officially off. It is 11.59 right now. Brandon and I just got all the stuff together. Obviously, we're in the boat. We're ready to rock and roll. We're gonna wait until that strikes midnight. And when it does, we're gonna wet our first lines of the 2019 open water season for Wisconsin. We are super pumped, super thrilled. We've been waiting for like six months. It's been a really brutal winter, but we're back, baby, and 2019 is gonna be awesome. So, come on, turn midnight. I, I'm just so excited. We're gonna absolutely just destroy the walleyes out here. Got a really good feeling about this. And uh, yeah, we'll see where the night takes us. Look at that, guys. It's midnight. So you know what time it is? It's time to get going. Stay tuned guys, we're gonna get hooked up real soon. Hold on, the lens cap's on, the lens cap's on. I got him. You got him? Yep, I got him. All right, Nick just got hooked up with the first one. There you go. Bring him in, baby, bring him in. Oh, he's right here. You wanna grab me the net? Um, where's the net? Dude, we don't, we don't have a net. We don't have a net. We, we don't have a freaking net, dude. Oh God, he's on the surface. I'm gonna try to land him back here. Hold on. Oh, oh my god, dude, that's a toad. Oh my oh, god. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, oh god. yes. Woo. Oh. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> oh. That's a nice one. Oh. First fish of the night, guys. And it is a pretty big brute of a walleye for northern Wisconsin. This fish has got to be looking at probably 25 inches, I'd say, somewhere around that range. I mean, down at De Pere that we've been fishing the past month, this would be, you know, an average fish, but up here in northern Wisconsin, these are these are what you're searching for. These are what people really want to look for when you're up here. It's a beautiful fish. They're super dark, really, really gold. That was and, so uh, scary. No net makes it, like, incredibly scary. I can't believe we actually forgot it. What I'm using, this is actually uh, pretty interesting. I don't even know where the heck these jigs have came from. They're in Brandon's box. I, I think they're from Bass Pro. I think they're honestly like a saltwater bait. But um, yeah, so it's a jig head with 
like a red eye and then we're using a Mr. Twister. This is yellow in color and that one slammed it. Knew it was, uh, knew it was a walleye as soon as it hit. Wasn't really doing too much craziness. Came right to the boat, but it's a beautiful walleye. Great way to start the night. Definitely for sure. It feels incredibly good to be back, like we were saying, guys. And this is a heck of a way to start the 2019 season for me. Is that spawned out, or is it a male? No, it. this is spawned out. Holy. We what? are fishing kind of a smaller lake. This does really surprise me, though, that it's already spawned out, because ice was, like, on this lake, I think, like, a week ago. So... I guess they just they couldn't wait any longer and they spawned. I can't actually believe it because I thought we were going to hit it early, but I'm not going to spend too much time with this fish. Very, very nice fish. But hey, first of the first of the night, get our waist on her. Wait until they kick out of your hand. There she goes. You want to make sure you uh, send those big ones back so you can keep the population rolling in the lake and we're gonna try to get another one. Maybe Brandon can something. get hooked up this time. Woo! Oh my god, that one just absolutely clobbered it. Feels pretty nice too. Oh, that and should be fun to get into them. We're getting rained on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yes. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh. <laughs> That's another dandy, bro. Take a look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes, there we go. Guys, we are having ourselves a day out here. Oh my God, Take it's really raining look now. Look at that. Let me go ahead and turn this off here real quick so you guys can see. Whatever, I'll just take it off of my head. <laughs> oh, using the same jig, same exact plastic too, just a Mr. Twister, neon color. That one came up and just choked it, dude. That one thumped it so hard. There we go, get that out of here. Guys, we are having an awesome day out here. That is awesome. Whoo, alrighty. We're gonna go ahead and get a release on her. Look how pretty she is. Those Holy mother of God, what, what was that? What was that? Dude, there are muskies in here. <laughs> what the They actual? probably ate that duck that we just passed, or at least tried. Jesus. That was like, holy wow. Okay, well that was quite the explosion on the shoreline. We're gonna go ahead and Get a release on this big girl. Look at those beautiful tiger stripes she's got in her. That's a gorgeous fish. Gosh, I love fishing up here. There she goes. Woo! That feels wow. so good. Look at how clear our lakes are up here. That fish is five feet under the water already and you can still see her. That's just how clear this beautiful Wisconsin, tiny little lakes out in the middle of nowhere. It's so clear and beautiful. The fishing up here is just, it's something else, guys. I mean, there's there's nothing quite like it. Whether you catch giants, whether you catch numbers, even if you come out here and just catch one fish, just to see these fish is just, it's remarkable coming out here. It's, it's so beautiful. It's not like anything that you can really get down south. That's why we love coming up here just about eh, almost every weekend. We come up here probably at least 50% of the weekends out of the year. We're out here grinding. It's probably what, like one in the morning. We haven't been out here for too long. Now we're getting downpoured on, which is excellent, but it's not gonna stop us, guys. We're gonna keep grinding, see if we can get hooked up with another one. Woo! All right, another one. This one feels okay, but definitely not as big as the last ones, that's for sure. I haven't seen it yet. Got a little bit of weight. Oh, there he is. Just a little guy. Come on. All right, do I go for the boat flip? Risk it. We got no net. Oh, got him. <laughs> All right. Just a tiny one. But hey, got to have tiny ones in the lake also. Can't have all giants. Otherwise, you know, you just can't have all giants. You got to have the small ones show that they're reproducing which they obviously are in this lake this one's probably i don't know i've got a tape measure right here measure it out quick let's see what we're working with we got a 15 and a half inch walleye so 
This is about the perfect size for eating. We're probably gonna keep this one just cause why not? I mean, it's it's perfectly okay to just take a male or two out that's in that 15 to 18 inch range. So this one's gonna be going home. Maybe we can get another one that size. Maybe have a nice little fish fry. Maybe do a little catch and cook, who knows. But uh, yeah, that's the second one for me tonight. That's the third fish for us. We're having ourselves a decent night. Uh, we've only been out here for uh, probably two hours now. We've had a few other hits, but nothing super crazy. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna keep on pounding away and see if we can get a few more for you guys. Oh, Holy cow! Ooh. Guys, what a night! What a morning, I should say. We're out there for a few hours. Sunlight is starting to come up above the trees here. It's actually beautiful out. I'm not gonna lie, guys, we are extremely tired, but that was a lot of fun to get out there and catch a few walleyes. But I'll tell you what, Nick and I are definitely ready for a nap. Look, I'm a, I'm a mess, guys. I am completely chowed. Whew, but that was a lot of fun. We got out there, caught some nice sized walleyes and everything. We are going to be most likely taking a nap. Hopefully that only consists of like two or three hours. It's got to be about three or four in the morning right now. And uh, like I said, sunrise is just coming over the trees. We're going to hopefully fall asleep till probably about seven o'clock or so. Then we're going to get up and head back out. We're going to try a different lake in the morning. And obviously we're going to continue walleye fishing. So. Uh, we're expecting way more fish on the next lake. Uh, this one is just a fun one to come to because it's smaller and it's up here, it's crystal clear, it's beautiful. The, the walleyes that come out of this lake are just, it's something special. So it's fun to get out here and uh, you know, made it out at midnight, did something that you know we haven't really done before. And uh, we came out here and grinded and we got into some really nice fish, I gotta say. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pack up the boat, we're gonna pack up all of our stuff, go ahead, take a nap in the truck and we're gonna go ahead and get back out onto the water and you guys are gonna be seeing that really, really soon because I can just about guarantee we're gonna get hooked up with some really nice sized walleyes. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys aren't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to comment down below as well. Until next time, guys, tight lines from NB Edits. Boom.